categories of Tawheed to single out Allah with what is specific to Him through Lordship, Worship, and names and attributes. Number one, Tawheed al rububiyya Lordship, to single out Allah in His actions, creation, ownership, and sovereignty. Number two, Tawheed al uluhiyya Worship, to single out Allah in worship by the actions of His servants. Number three, Tawheed al asma wa sifat to single out Allah in all His names and attributes, to single out Allah with what He has named or described Himself in His book, the Qur'an, or by the speech of His Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and that is to affirm what He has affirmed to Himself and to negate what He has negated for Himself without distortion, rejection, questioning the howness, or falling in resemblance. The three levels of Islam. Islam, it is to submit to Allah with Tawheed, being consistent in His obedience as well as disassociating oneself from shirk and its people. Pillars of Islam are five. Number one, the testimonies of faith. Number two, establishing salah. Number three, paying zakah. Number four, fasting Ramadan. Number five, making hajj, pilgrimage to those capable. The second category, Iman. It is speech of the tongue, belief of the heart, actions of the limbs, and it increases and decreases. Pillars of Iman are six. Number one, Allah. Number two, His angels. Number three, His books. Number four, His messengers. Number five, the last day. Number six, the decree, the good and bad of it. The third category, Ihsan. It is to worship Allah as if you see Him, and if you do not see Him, then He sees you. One pillar and under it is, and under it is two levels. Number one, watchful worship, Mushahada, to worship Allah as if you see Him. Number two, watched worship, Muraqaba. If you do not see Him, then He sees you. Four categories of prohibitions. Number one, major shirk. It makes the person leave the fold of Islam and he shall not be forgiven if he dies upon it. Examples, making a rival or equal to Allah, calling, fearing, and loving him instead of Allah, or directing to him any form of worship. Number two, minor shirk. It does not make the person leave the fold of Islam and is bigger than the major sins. Examples, saying Allah wills and so and so wills. Swearing by, other than the, swearing by other than Allah, showing off amulets, omens, pessimism, hanging talismans, and symbols like the hand, beads, and the like as a means for protection or to push away the evil eye. Number three, major sins. Everything that has a specific punishment set. Examples, magic, sorcery, disobedience to parents, liba, usury, fornication, homosexuality, lying, consuming alcohol and intoxicants, theft, backbiting, killing a soul that Allah has forbidden killing, consuming the orphan's money. Number four, minor sins. It is less than the major sins. The major sin can be erased with repentance and the minor sin can become major if one is persistent on it. The Prophet ﷺ said, Beware of the sins that are considered insignificant, for they can pile up on the man and destroy him.